Okay, so guys, what we're looking at now today, or yesterday, was we're looking at compression molding and transfer molding. So the two thermal setting uh, manufacturing processes. Okay, so these are quite simple processes, and the reason for that is this process of cross linking. So you have your chain molecules like that. This process of creating these cross links takes a while. Okay, so cross linking takes time. Another word for cross-linking is curing, C-U-R-I-N-G. So if something curing means it's sort of it's setting or it's in theory. If you say if you were to say like the likes of concrete cures, but again, it obviously isn't cross-linking, but glue, epoxy resin, it will cure, and what that means is that's cross-linking. Okay. So that's what the, that's why the these are simpler, because the likes of your injection molding machine, they can ramp out huge quantities in an hour. Okay, so they'll be firing it out as quick as they can. Loads, because the main thing is with thermoplastics, they set once they reach, once they go below a certain temperature. That certain temperature is their glass transition temperature. So they go from this being a soft, very easy to shape uh, plastic to uh, solid. Whereas with this, it takes a while to set. So what's happening here, guys, is... I'll just click on the next photo. So what you have here in the first picture, so again, you have a measured amount of thermoplastic so again that'll be measured great writing <laughs> and then what happens is the mold gets heated up and and it gets compressed gets compressed and it fills the cavity see that it's filling the cavity there again a small amount of plastic will go up that joint there like that and that'll have to be trimmed off at the end again it'll just show a small little bit it'll be very very thin okay and that, again that this process here that's left for hours for a long time left for the cross thinking process which can take a few hours okay and that's again the main pictures you need there again is just this one here and this one here as well the other two you don't really need okay because again the middle one is only showing the, the middle one only shows that the mold come it's coming together and then the other one shows it open again ideally you'd want to show that include that one as well so that's your compression molding again reason why these are simple processes is in its, any manufacturing plant that is doing large-scale thermal setting plastics needs to have hundreds and hundreds of these in order to do to meet the math in order to mass produce them because these take these would be too slow if you only had one again you only have to do one every few hours so instead of only doing one they have hundreds working in tandem with each other again you can see there up in the top right hand corner what are they, where are they used so anything electrical Okay, and the second one you have is transfer molding. Okay, transfer molding is for more intricate products. Uh, compression molding is for, they have to be very basic, or in order to get them out of that split mold. Transfer molding is used on PCBs, molded plugs. So a PCB is printed circuit board, like your graphics cards and things like that. Again, the actual card itself, not all the different components soldered onto it. Okay, so what happens here? I'm just going to click on this next page. So what you have is again, this is. There's not, you don't need to worry so much about the amount here. Okay, so what happens is it gets melted in the melting pot or the transfer pot, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It gets melted here, and then what happens is the plunger comes down and the plunger pushes it into the mold. Again, under huge. Uh, pressure. And the reason why it does under pressure is to stop any air pockets. If there's no pressure, it's just going to be air pockets. And again, it doesn't matter if there's too much there because you can doesn't have to go down the full way. And then once it's finished, then the mold can split. Okay, so that's your transfer molding and your compression molding. So you just need to do nice neat drawings. Those I have them attached to the. I have them attached to the assignment.